Hello, welcome back to to the first ever episode of Small Tackle Box Fishing. Today we will we'll be discussing the top, my top favorite fall fishing baits for bass. We have a wide variety of lures here, all of them for spanning from the different times of the fall when you want to use them. We have big baits, small baits, thick baits, heavy baits, light baits. We we're going to be covering them all. So let's begin and I hope you enjoy. First bait we have is the spook. This is a head in super spook. It's a, um, I think it's a 7 8 ounce. It's a great top water bait. Um, I'd recommend the spook um, earlier fall, maybe a little in the mid fall. You want to use this. Um, the water is pretty, um, pretty clear, and you want to make sure the water temperature is around 80 degrees, 70 degrees. That's around the perfect time. Um, so you want to fish this, not extremely fast, but definitely fast. Uh, I'd use this a lot. It's a great bait. It's, um, it's a good alternative to poppers instead of always using poppers. And it's, um, it's, it's not just for bass. You can also use them for walleye, pike, musky, and other species. I definitely recommend it. You should go and check them out. Next, we have the stick bait. So, it's a, stick bait's a great bait for um, using it all the time. You can use this in spring, um, summer sometimes, and fall. I'd use this um, in earlier fall, maybe into mid-fall. And I'd definitely say, um, fish this um, medium to fast, and make sure the water clarity is pretty good. And um, I definitely recommend this in shallower water. This is a two foot diver, I think. Just remember to adjust your body of water according to how di deep this dives. But it's a great bait, and I definitely recommend it. Next, we have the jerk bait. Um, I'm not sure what the brand of this is, I just randomly picked it because Lucky Craft was too expensive. Jerk bait's a great fall bait. Everyone knows the jerk bait. I'd use this mid even to late fall. Depends how cold your late fall is where you live. So depending on how deep your jerk bait dives, you have to adjust accordingly. This is a two to three foot diver. It's a suspending jerk bait. And I'd use this when the water temperature is between seventy to sixty degrees. That's about as low as you want to go. Uh, this is a, you can even go up to around maybe 80 degrees. Uh, I'm not sure if I go that low. Anyways, you could use this in, um, you, you really want to use it in that clear water. Maybe a little bit in the murky water, but mainly clear. So, um, it's a great bait. You want to jerk it extremely aggressively um, if you're in colder water for smallmouths because they love those reaction strikes. And you wanna, and for normal largemouths, um, it's more common, you just wanna jerk it aggressively, but not to the extent where it's a little scary. I love it, and I definitely use, I definitely use it a lot. Next, we have more of a winter rig. It's the Ned Rig, so I'm gonna show you how to bait this up in case you've never done it. So with the Ned Rig, you wanna, take a mushroom jig for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to use a normal jig and a three inch worm I'm, I think this is like three and a half four but just bear with me so with this you want to go into the worm right to the bend keep going a little more and then push it up see how this is too much so just go back go a little more push it in there you go, there's the Ned Rig. You want to fish this late fall, early winter, and, um, well, you obviously want to use this before the ice comes in. This is a cold bait. It's definitely cold. You want to fish this super finesse along the bottom, super slow, slow twitches. And with this bait, the bites won't be distinct. It'll be like, like a mushy kind of bite. It won't be like, it'll just be a light little... And you 
you'll barely feel it when you reel it in and you'll find a fish on the end. So I, I like this bait. It's one of the few winter baits that you can actually use besides ice fishing. It's um, late fall, early winter. It's great. It doesn't have to be in clear water. It can be murky, murky water too, depending on the color of your worm. But I definitely recommend it. Next we have jig. Now it's not very commonly known as a fall bait, it's more of a summer. But anyways, with the jig, it's a football jig, my favorite. You um I'd use it early fall and late summer, that's the best time. Maybe a little into mid fall. Like flipping um under dock, that's my favorite. Um with the jig, uh it depends on your water clarity. If it's um murky I'd go with black and blue. And if it's um, clear water, always green pumpkin. Keep it natural and clear water. Um, I would, depending on your rod and reel, most people throw this with a medium heavy, so you will go with it around 3 eighths to 3 quarter ounces. That's the sweet spot. Um, uh, I'd use this a lot in um, more timber situations. I definitely recommend this. You should go try them out. Next we have the chatterbait. Now, chatterbait is a great lure. It's a great follower. You want to use this early to mid fall. With chatterbait, you want to use a bit of a buffer rod than with jigs and stuff because you want to have it strong. You want to have it light enough so that it can cast this far, but buff enough so it can take the hook set and the fit. With the chatterbait. You want to use this, um, as I said, early to mid fall, and you want to fish it more fast. You want to fish it faster in uh, early fall and slower in mid fall. It's just obvious. Now you can fish this murky water, which most people do, and a little bit in the clear situations, but you want to adjust your colors accordingly. Uh, I, I have a trailer right here, and I recommend trailers, although they're more common as spinner baits, but that's fine. I like trailers all the time. The more the ma merrier. Um, I definitely use this a lot, and I suggest you check them out. Next, we have a classic the blade bait. So, if you're not sure what a blade bait is, it's okay because they're not very, they're not extremely common, but they're really nice. Blade bait, what it is, is essentially a spoon that's in the shape of a lipless crankbait. So this one's the Bass Pro Shops one, and it has a little sla snap swivel here, so you can adjust if you want the head more down, or, or if you put it in the third dive, it can be like this, more down, so it'll go diving deeper in shallow water. You can put it in the first hole, and it'll be more um, parallel to the ground. So Blade Bay, I use this mid to later fall. If you want to fish it, mm, kind of around medium speed, maybe a little slower. Um, it's just representing dying shad, so give it some twitches here. And I definitely recommend this. I'd use it not in pure, mur in stained conditions, not really super murky. Although you could if you want to, because it gives a nice flash. I can definitely recommend this. This next bait is actually quite overlooked. It's the inline spinner. Now, the only reason I heard of inline spinners being used for bass was by One Rod One Reel Fishing. You should go check his channel out. Anyways, this is a good winter and even er late fall bait. So this you want to fish in murkier water, and you want to use it. Um, you want to use this um, slower. Make sure. Yeah, you're always checking your hooks, and I'd use this. Use around timber, it won't really matter. And always upgrade the split ring because usually they come pretty bad. That's that. Last but not least, we have the buzz bait. Now, buzz bait is not a fall bait, it's an everything bait. It's a um, spring bait, early summer bait, and a early fall bait. You want to use this in early fall? Maybe a little bit in mid fall. And um, with the buzz bait, this, you, see, you can see this is black and red. This is for early morning. Um, as the day goes by, you want to change your colors. So midday, chartreuse works well. 
and evening reds work nicely a little bit of grays even whites so buzz bait it's obviously more easy you just cast out there and retrieve it but make sure you're not going too slow or nothing will notice it I definitely recommend this and you should go check it out thank you for watching small tackle box fishing get out there get fishing and get catch see you next time